Okay, I'm using the two telescopes of both of them four inch approximately. This is a scope watcher, a 100 millimeter uh, F500, that is F ratio of five, short tube with a six millimeter Wixen SLV and uh, using with the uh, mid ETX 105 four inch again and with the 18 millimeter BSDS star guide ED. Um, the comparison is said uh, according to this. I'm looking at the Jupiter with the short tube refractor. You can see a lot of details on the uh, planet, the cloud belts. And uh, but I can also say that, that there is plenty of chromatic aberration. With the mid ETX, I see less detail because it has not been cooled down. But I can say that uh, the image is free of the chromatic aberration. I'm using the straight true and using the adapter, which uh, I have shown in a separate video. Uh, I have a video about that. So far, refractor and this mic setup are the best. This one has a focal ratio of 14 and the focal length of 1470. This is called what's your 4-inch four short tube refractor. So far I have the best and most ready uh, readily available image. Okay, I'm now using also the Sky Watcher um, Heritage 4-inch, um, 100 millimeter focal lens, 400 millimeter, and f ratio 4. This gives you the widest angle possible, and because it has no collimation screws. I feel that the image of the Jupiter is out of collimation. I cannot see much detail. I see barely some of the um, cloud bursts. Nothing more than that. Barely. Um, maybe south and uh, north of course are belt. And that's easy visible. I wish it could uh, be collimatable. Even the little Gilbert that I had as a, you know, as a kid, was, you could collimate it. This one, you cannot collimate it. It's the widest angle uh, uh, telescope, so it's for deeper sky observation, quite good. But uh, for the planetary, I mean, in this case, Jupiter is not good. Maybe it's good for the moon, but uh, uh, for the planets like Jupiter, you don't see much details. So out of these uh, telescopes, uh, so far the best one is that refractor although it has a lot of chromatic aberration. Then comes this, uh, without chromatic aberration, the MIDI TX-105. But uh, the clarity is less, of course, it is just out of the warm room and to, the, uh, to this environment. The uh, refractor was ready to observe. This probably needs a little bit, you know, acclimatization, temperature, equival equilibrium, and this one, just out of uh, collimation, you cannot use it really for this kind of observation of the planets. And this is called watching Newtonian. Uh, although I had the widest field of view, and I used the eyepiece, which was a 4mm scale watcher Nirvana, uh, it didn't show much detail on the planet mainly because it was not possible to collimate it. The telescope is out of collimation. It's good for wide-angle view of the deeper sky objects. As I mentioned, this uh, Skywatcher Heritage 100mm uh, telescope is not good for observing planet. Probably for the moon, but not much even for that. But it's excellent for wide-angle views, wide field of view of the deeper sky objects. I'm looking at the uh, M42 Great Orion Nebula and the stunning image quality. And it's easy to even capture, a, a, you know, a astrophoto with your mobile phone. I'm using just this Skywatcher 25mm Super 
uh, MA eyepiece just came with this telescope on its own. On a small Dobsonian mount, they, they come. That's excellent. I'm using it in this uh, Alter Sabre because uh, it's easier for me. It rises at the height. And I will put the astrophoto I've taken of the Orion Nebula, and it's beautiful. The actual image when you see it is stunning. Okay, this is astrophoto I took with this eyepiece and this telescope, and it's uh, stunning. As you can see at the margin of it, uh, we have some, uh, the mirror is uh, is spherical, it's not paraboloid, so you can see some, you know, uh, coma at the corners. And just now, if we try to take an astrophoto of the um, M45, the Pleiades. The star cluster, famous star cluster. It was really nice, and I was able actually to take the whole cluster. It's really wide angle, really excellent in that sense. I have tried it with a lot of telescopes. None of them show this as good as this one. The really wide angle view of this telescope. This telescope is reminds here. me it of the AstroScan uh, 2000. That is also four inch, four and a half inch. Uh, this is easier, it's cheaper, it's available. The Stroscan is not available and you, you cannot get it unless it's second hand. It's not easy to get it. This telescope is excellent for deep sky. I recommend it f for that for that purpose. Uh, for the planetary, probably you should get a little refractor, 80 millimeter or 100 millimeter, four inch will be enough. Or something like a Skywatcher Evo Star 90 millimeter, that's excellent.